Night, a clear link between sugary drinks and cancer. Yes, and experts are also saying that another type of beverage, some that think may be a better alternative, isn't. CBS 2's Hazel Sanchez explains. A new study linking sugary drinks like sodas and energy drinks to cancer came as no surprise to most people we spoke with. They can't be good for you. But learning that 100% fruit juice has the same potential to cause cancer as sodas like these was hard to believe for some. That's really bad for kids, right? Because, I mean, so many parents give their children lots of, they think it's better than, uh, some other things. I need to look at this research. I seriously doubt it. The findings come from a new study published in the British Medical Journal. Researchers analyzed more than 101,000 French adults, 21% men and 79% women, and assessed their intake of sugary drinks for nine years. Cancer epidemiologist Paolo Buffetta says other research has said otherwise, and this study may not show the full picture. Studying diet and Chronic disease like cancer is, is a complicated matter. Uh, people don't eat or drink just one food or one beverage. They eat many different things and each is related to the other. While the study doesn't offer a definitive answer for how sugar causes cancer, it certainly emphasizes the importance of lowering our sugar intake. Too much sugar does lead to obesity, which is the cause for some types of cancer. So for parents like Patrick Loftus, who was already limiting his child's juice intake. Wow, maybe maybe it'll go from none, some to none. Experts say totally eliminating sugar isn't necessary, but as the saying goes, everything in moderation. On the Upper West Side, Hazel Sanchez, CBS 2 News. Britain, France, and Mexico are introducing taxes on sugar with the goal of improving health. Remember